Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, North Jersey. It was a beautiful day here, and this is a car I have been very excited to drive for a very long time. This is Ed. Thank you for coming down, sir. How you doing? And this is Ed's uh, Acura Integra Type R, uh, the Unicorn. Yeah. And what year is it? 2000. And what have you done with this car? Because it's just beautiful. Well, it has a uh, Jack Generation supercharger on it. It's got a custom exhaust uh, system fabricated by LOJ. Uh, LOJ, Steven is your son. Yeah, it? actually, he is my son. And uh, um, he's done a little bit of work on it, not too much. And uh, there's no LS1 going in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's a beautiful black, and it has only 81,000 miles on it. So let's, uh, uh, this, I, I, I hope, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass, Ed. I'm genuinely excited for this car. Yeah. These are extremely rare. Yeah. Um, you never, oh, wow, it revs. After the LS, it revs so freely. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So these uh, Type Rs were homologation race cars from uh, from Acura. So it came from the factory, seam welded. Yeah, they're seam welded. Uh, there's a lot of little things. I got a number uh -oh. of a number of uh, uh, bars as, or sway bars and all on them that are just different than you're going to find on uh, uh, any other Acura. So, next to an, uh, so next putting to the motor in a GSR does not a Type R make. No, not even close. Um, 8,500 RPM redline. Yeah, and they, uh, they're not a drag car, but they're a great road car. What does this thing weigh? Uh, around 2,500 pounds. That's very light. Yeah. And it made 200 horsepower new. What do you think it makes it's, now? It's doing, uh... About 278 to the wheels. Oh wow! Is that that's where your license plate comes from, right? Yeah. yeah. 278 to the wheels. Yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. And the and the, the, the the rev range is just like endless. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, everything feels light. Although actually the steering is a little heavier than I would. I actually expect. like a little. Personally, I like it with a little. Like bit. a little weight in the steering. Yeah. yeah. Oops, sorry. If you drive so many different cars in a day, it's hard yeah, to get used to every clutch. These things, man, it's impossible to find a clean title, yeah. non-ragged out Type R. They've all been stolen or stripped or they, something. They do everything and anything to them. I'm not even sure how many are left that are really, really decent anymore. It can't be many. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there were so few. How many were they imported uh, to begin with? Uh, probably a total of, they were brought in for four years. A total of about 4,300. Okay, so pretty rare. Yeah. Well, it drives just beautifully. Yeah. The ride, it rides great. Yeah. Is it five speed or six speed? Five speed. Five speed. Okay. But uh, I, I always want to run for years, and I'm not a kid. Yeah. I love them. Well, I always like to say when you find an old white man in a car like this, you gotta watch out because yeah. the car's gonna be nice yeah. and the driver is gonna be fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's oh, it feels so light and it, it, is. it rides really nice. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a tuner car, you know what no, I mean? It's not it super slammed. No, no. Man, the sound that is the that is the quintessential tuner car sound. Yeah. This is K20, right? Uh, is that K20? Uh, no, no. What, the 1.8. Is that B18? Yeah. B18? Yep. Yep. My Japanese engine codes, I, I stink. Yeah. Can never remember them. A lot of guys, not a lot, but a number of guys are putting the K20s in these now. Uh, breaks my heart when I see them tear them up. <laughs> it's such a nice little car. I'm so tempted yeah. to buy one of these, except yeah. I have a Fiesta ST, and yeah. they serve kind of the same purpose. Yep. But it's, it's a very rigid feeling it thing. Yeah. And, you know, for something that was really meant for a, to be a race car for the street, yeah. it, it, it's not like beating you up. No. I, oh, this is, a, this is special. It just, it's got a really special feel to it. It's tough yeah. to describe in what way it is special. Look, fresh tarmac. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to go into first when I left the park lot, but it seems totally fine now. Yeah. Oh man, you said you only put about 2,000 miles a year on this car? A uh, thousand miles a year. Oh, that is a shame, sir. Yeah, yeah. 
what, what do you normally drive? What's your everyday? Or? Uh, well, right now it's a 93 Toyota pickup with a uh, Volkswagen Jetta diesel in it. <laughs> That's, that's my daily. I've oh, got you're a, the man. <laughs> yeah, I got a 99 hatchback at home. I've got a 94 GSR at home. So uh, are you are you an Acura guy, a Honda, a Honda guy? Acura guy, yeah. Steve, my son Steve, owns LOJ. Yeah. He cut his teeth on Hondas, but he went off to other things. You know? Well, if you're into Hondas, this is pretty much the end all and be all of yeah. Hondas, isn't it? Well, there's only one you're going to go higher, and that'd be an NSX. Is that an Avanti in front of us? Look at yeah, that. It's an Avanti, yeah. I see more Avantis in North Jersey really? than anywhere else in the world. The question is, is it an original one or a kit? You know? It's not a kit. It's old enough. Yeah. I've seen the kits and they are bad. Yeah. That it's a, that's at least a semi-original. Yeah. All right, let's flip around. It revs up. I mean, it feels like the it feels like the flywheel weighs about a half a pound, frankly. There's a uh, there is it just down right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Uh, it revs up and down so fast. It does. And the clutch take up is a little a little high, but you get used to it. Yeah, it does have a heavy clutch on it. So the Jackson Racing Supercharger is a uh, a roots type blower. It sits yeah, it's uh, right old, behind the engine. Yeah, it's uh, they don't, you can't really get them anymore for these cars. They don't make them anymore. Do you know what kind of boost that thing makes? Uh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, I can't tell you that. We checked them. Uh, I haven't had it on a dyno yet. I do want to dyno it. Um, it just hasn't been a priority. I've just been enjoying it the way it is. I mean, it's great, and, and you know, like most supercharged engines, yeah. you don't really feel it. It's just more power. Yeah. Uh, I prefer supercharging over a turbo. I like the linear power in the supercharger. There's certainly arguments for both, but yeah. with these with these Hondas, it really is nice to have the, the, that great power band and the yeah. linearness, yeah. but then just with more of it. Yeah. This thing just whines and whines and whines. Yeah. It's a beautiful driving car, and it's yeah. really, really nice. Shifter's great. I mean, Honda can really make a good shifter. Yeah. Got that S2000 shift knob. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a factory for this. Is it? Oh, yeah. That's the factory yeah. knob. Oh, then the, the S2000 came later. Yeah, the tight, it's yeah. got the titanium bowl. That, oh, I guess this Most is... of the parts in this car, that's why a lot of these have gotten stolen. Yeah, because they all just want those well, parts. Well, some of the parts is worth an unbelievable amount of money. Even today, the cars are getting older, and uh, the car never gets left anywhere. Yeah, I can Ever. imagine. Is the insurance crazy on these because no, of the because theft? No, it's a collector car insurance they have on it. What about importing from Japan? Do you think maybe a right-hand drive one from Japan is well, a good idea? There are a few around. Actually, we were talking about a guy who lives close to me who has a right-hand drive one. Yeah? Yeah. Is it really cool? Uh, I didn't meet him, the other fellow who's with us. It's his buddy. I imagine I that could be a it. pretty cool thing. Yeah. yeah. I drove a right-hand drive uh, Civic Type R. Oh, did you? Which was when I was in New Zealand. It was neat. Cool. It was very cool. I liked it a lot. Yeah. This is, man, I, I'd like to say they don't make them like this anymore, but that's not really true because well, the new crop, evolved, you know. the new crop of hatchbacks is like yeah, great. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, they're great the, yeah. between the GTI and the Fiesta yeah. and all that stuff. But this one was really the one where it was like, wait a minute, this there the might be something the to, yeah. yeah, to this front wheel drive thing. Yeah. Well, they and, say that the Type R, even to this day, this car is still the benchmark for front wheel drive. I cars. imagine it's got. I mean, I'd love to take one on a track or an autocross yeah. or something. But even just, just driving it around here, it feels very tight. It yeah. took them a, a solid 15 years to build it, a hatchback, a front wheel drive car that that yeah. could really beat this thing. You yeah. know. And even now, I mean, it'd well, be a good run. It's yeah. not like it's a landslide. Right. I think with the supercharger, it gives it that little extra, you know, in stock form, they're fine. But with the supercharger, I just, and I'm basically a guy who likes stock. Yeah. But I like the supercharger. It, you know, I, I, the best I can do is make an analogy to other supercharged Hondas I've driven. And those things work. They, yeah. they make great power. They... Feels nice. I mean, yeah. it feels like it's got the right amount of power to have a really yeah. good time with, and you can still just sing the hell out of it. Yep. It doesn't. The supercharger doesn't bring your red line down at all, does it? No. no. Oh, that's good. I, it's it's just such an easy thing to drive. Yeah. It's great. And what I like about it with the Honda reliability. Has it know, been very reliable yeah, for you? This is just. I haven't put a lot of miles, but all of the Hondas that I own, 
they're just they're just good cars. No other way I can put it. They um they need to get back on track a little bit. I mean they definitely um you know they make good cars still, but but they've lost a little of that excitement. Yeah, well they got the new SI hatch coming, but it's only going to be in Europe. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be three hundred six horse. Yeah, and it's going to be really expensive. Yeah. Man, I I could just. I could get in a lot of trouble in one of these. <laughs> Everywhere yeah. you go, you want to just cane it. Yep. And it's so free revving. Yeah, it is. It handles that bump great. Ah, oh, this, is, this is magic. It's yeah. really, really nice. I, I'm not surprised at all that these things are as expensive as they yeah. are now. And they mean, hold their value. God, you gotta buy nice, one, you nice, gotta keep it. Yeah, a nice I mean, one will keep its value. I mean, if you've got 15 or 20 grand laying around, then you this can is, find one. I don't think you could go wrong buying one. There's of these no right way. Now. There's no, it's never yeah. gonna go, it'll never be worth the less no, than 15 I grand so. ever, right? I've actually been looking for another one. If you've got the money, yeah. I mean, how can you go wrong? Like put it in the bank, so. If you've got the money, there's just no way to go wrong. And the interior is held up. I mean, it's yeah. simple in here, but the materials right are nice. Oh, oh nope, I'm next one. Next I did that before, yeah, okay. though. <laughs> I Sorry. did do it before. I don't know this area. But this is, you know, you could daily it if you wanted to. Yeah. You, you know, there's there's nothing about it that makes it anything less than a Honda. Yeah. But then you get the seam welded and the homologation stuff. But yeah. the problem is you you can't park it anywhere. That's you cannot problem. leave this car unattended. No, they tend to uh, disappear. They do. Is that, I mean, I remember 10 years ago, it's it not, was really... Yeah, it's not as know, bad, but uh, the, you still... Was, unfortunately, you got those kind out there that are going to... Want to take it? Well, thank you so much. That thank was you. that was genuinely a treat, Ed, and, and your car is just beautiful and as fun to drive as I could have imagined. I appreciate that. And uh, and thanks to Stephen for assembling all this. Uh, and that Very concludes nice. our New Jersey One Take series. So see you guys back in California.